What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. Here I am again talking about astrology. Now if you follow my channel, you know I love um, basically anything growth related, personal growth, um, stepping into this world and becoming the best version of yourself. And astrology is a tool that I try to use to master myself. It helps me understand energies, where they're placed in my life um, and how to work with those energies because all energies have a constructive and destructive way of behaving. So if I can understand that energy and where it sits in my life, I can understand how that energy may be destructive in that area of life and how it may be constructive. And then I can try and step into those most powerful uses of those energies. So today I want to talk about um, Saturn in the fifth house. Like, I'm starting off basically all of these videos, all of my astrology videos are going to be me talking initially at least about um, placements that I have myself. Um, so the reason being is not because I don't look at other placements or understand other placements. It is because I basically always analyze my own so it's probably the best place to start talking about placements I have myself and so um, when it comes to having Saturn in the fifth house I do personally resonate with it um, and I really do feel it quite a lot now I will also say that when I'm talking about this I will be talking specifically about Saturn in the fifth house trying to tap in mostly on that energy um, I do have like Le uh, sorry, Jupiter in Leo, which almost contradicts that Saturn in the fifth house. But I'm going to say that I really, really, really feel the effects of Saturn in my fifth house, especially at the moment in life. So um, that is where we're going to go. I'm just going to talk and, and see where we end up. Um, so let's just first discuss Saturn. Saturn is basically the constrictor of the zodiac, uh, of the planets. And he is seen as... Um, like kind of bad energy, although I am totally in love with the energy of Saturn. He's strict. He's a father figure. He's all about hard work. He's all about the grind. He's all about the hustle. He's not going to open those gates for you and let you walk straight through and get everything you want. He's going to make you work for that shit. I love Saturn because I love hard work and I think life is about growing through challenges. I'm, I'm obsessed with growth. I'm obsessed with personal growth. And so obviously Saturn to me is like, one of my favourite planets, along with Pluto and Uranus, really. Um, so I love Saturn. So, you know, although it's seen as sort of like a bad planet, I really like, I really like Saturn myself. Um, however, having Saturn in the fifth house isn't really an easy placement because you feel so different to everybody else um, for certain reasons, okay, which we'll, we'll tap into in a minute. Now, the fifth house is about fun creativity, your hobbies, your joy. It's the natural house of Leo and it's the natural house of the sun and the sun is warm and bright and playful and Saturn is cold and dark and not so playful, very serious. Do you know what I mean? So you've got Saturn in the fifth house. This is the house of love. It's the, or not love, romance and love affairs. It's about, you know, all of those things that actually kind of like tap into your heart. Saturn's that cold, icy geezer. Um, so it's a difficult placement um, because you've got basically Saturn constricting and restricting your joy. Um, at least it will feel like that anyway at an early phase of life. So, um, yeah, it means basically, you know, you, you can be seen as a child as a little bit more mature than your age because you have this planet that's all about maturity in the, in the, in the house that's relating to the self um, and, and your hobbies and your joy. So you basically, you may be, might be able to, you might be wise beyond your years. You know, as a child, people will think that you're far more mature um, than your age. You might be able to get on well with adults at a young age. You might even find adults more interesting than, than kids. You might be the one that's learning, studying, reading um, and doing all that stuff whilst other people are playing with Barbies and, well, that was back in my day anyway, Barbies and Polly Pockets and stuff. You might not be so much into the play. Uh so I just want to add here that you may not be so much into, the, it might not be that you're just not into the play. It might be that um, your play has a serious nature to it or, you know, like, what you find enjoyable has a serious nature to it or maybe you might play in a creative way but you might be really serious about what you're creating or serious about the way in which you play um or the way in which you explore your hobbies and your fun um yeah it's not that you don't 
necessarily play it's like that the approach towards it may be of a serious nature or of a more mature nature or your joy might be in things that are already beyond your years um yeah like for example I did used to play and create um lots of like videos on the camera with my brother but I was always so serious about how well they were done I was so serious about it like it had to be the lines had to be delivered perfectly um yeah so there might be a bit of a serious approach to your play um or you just might enjoy more adult things like reading and stuff like that so I guess the first part of it that I'll talk about is the fun aspect and that is where I'm really challenged at the moment personally myself so Saturn in the fifth house can make it really difficult for you to have fun um and I'm going to say that actually quite lightly it might mean that you don't have fun in the same ways that everybody else has fun and that's why it feels difficult for you to have fun because the way the majority of the world has fun through entertainment sources maybe going out socializing having lots of friends going to parties all of that is not fun for you you know what i mean and i am so much like that i am so guilty of being that person who's like oh these young people today all they want to do it. Like, i i had a phase don't get me wrong i had a phase i started off life um quite young it's quite young. Everyone starts off life young. I started off life um, probably kind of serious. And then I had a complete flip phase, right? But for me to have that flip flight phase, I had to be like drunk and kind of, you know, indulging in substances that allowed me to lose all of my inhibitions, which I think is part of the lessons for us anyway. Um, but without the use of substances, maybe. Um, for me to go and have that type of fun, the fun that's out there, being out there clubbing and, and doing those typical things. Um, but that only lasted for a couple of years and then I got very serious about life and about career and, and all of that kind of went away again. So yeah, it makes it very difficult for us to have fun in those traditional ways. Um, I even remember at one point getting to life and just being like, I didn't know I had sat in the fifth house at this point or I didn't know anything about it, but I was out having a drink with my partner at the time years ago I must have been like 26 25 I don't know 24 even and sitting in this bar having a drink and like these guys at the bar was just like having a good time I could just see they liked being there and I was just sat there and the alcohol was sinking in and I just thought to myself like why am I not like other people like why is this not fun to me like why why am I not vibing like this why does this just feel like hell um, and I literally went into the toilets and I just burst out crying. I was just crying because I couldn't have fun. Um, and, you know, I was messaging my mum like, mum, why do I care about things? Literally, I literally messaged my mum, why do I care about things? I just really wanted to not care. You know, maybe Saturn really, you know, maybe I wanted to be carefree, but it's really difficult with that placement because what you care about is hard work and it's and, and traditional things and goals and achievement. Um, so, you know, it's, it is, it is, it is quite difficult of a placement. I just lost myself for a second, but yeah, um, it can be difficult to have fun. You might feel guilty for having fun. Oh my God. I have felt so guilty for having fun. Like there needs to be a reason for me to have fun. I have to have done enough work for me to then turn around and go, right, I can relax now, or I can do something that is ordinary for for most people but out of the ordinary for me like and that doesn't just mean like I've worked like I have my job and then I have the things that I want to do in this life and that means I have to have done enough work I have to have worked out and looked after my body I have to have eaten well and I have to have achieved my own personal task before I feel like oh I now I deserve to have a break and I deserve to just let loose and have a have a good time and have fun so you can feel really guilty for having fun. You feel like it's a waste of time, right? You think that what is fun is being productive. At least I think that. Fun feels like an absolute waste of time for you, right? And that is uh, that is the thing with Saturn in the fifth house. But with this thing about fun, what I must say is actually what you need to, at least what I believe, is that what you need to do is find what is fun for you. And just because what is fun for like a large portion of the world, it doesn't necessarily mean that you have to feel bad that that is not your fun. Because I felt bad as well. I felt guilty for having fun, but then I felt guilty that when I'm trying to have that type of a fun, that that isn't my fun. And I feel like, like, you know, I just, you know, I'm not, I'm not fun. <laughs> and, you know, it's kind of like a, it's a funny thing. 
But, you know, I do know what I find fun. I actually do find drawing fun and I find creating fun and I find working fun and I find adventures fun and I find vlogging fun and I find filming fun. And they happen to be productive things that are in alignment with the things I actually want to achieve in my life. But I find them fun and I need to find those people that find those things fun as well. And do you know what? I'm not even turning my back at this point in life on the traditional fun I'm going to even have a dabble in that and I'm going to see do I actually find that fun because I've dismissed it for a bit of like a long time and I'm actually quite like you know harsh about it but I need to let go of that I can understand why it's fun because I had that fun before and I need to see if I can have that fun again I need to put myself in those environments and actually really figure out is that fun for me before I just judge other people's methods of having fun so um yeah I don't know I think it's really important for us to find that that fun and to not shy away from traditional methods really know that we don't enjoy it and if we don't be happy with the things that we do find fun because that doesn't make us boring because we're not like everybody else all right so um that that might be a little challenge for Saturn in the fifth house people um another thing Saturn in the fifth house there was so, like so much that I wanted to touch on um yes in terms of actual fun right you are and I, I read about this as well um, at some point. It said they can actually be really good at planning fun events. Or I would totally be really good at setting up a party. Actually, part of me totally believes that I can be the life and soul of a party. I love a good party, except it's one of those things that if I was in a room in a party, there'd be somebody else that would be the life and soul of the party and it wouldn't be seen as me. And... And that's what makes you always feel like you aren't the life and soul of the party, even though you know deep down that you know how to have a... We do know how to have a good party. So I just want to add here that, like, we do know how to have a good time. Um, I will say that I do have Jupiter in Leo, which is basically the opposite of having Saturn in the fifth house, because the fifth house is linked to Leo and uh, Jupiter is expansive, whereas Saturn um, constricts. So... Perhaps sometimes I can feel the Jupiter energy, but more so than not, I can feel the Saturn energy. And here's the thing. I think we do know, we do know how to have a good time. We have Saturn in the fifth house. At the end of the day, we have energy in the fifth house, right? So in the house of fun, even though it's constricting it, um, Saturn says, if you work hard, you will find the answer. You will find the goal. You'll reach the goal with hard work. So um, I don't actually think it's that we don't know how to have fun. We can't have a good time. I think we can have a good time. But... In certain environments, anyway, like, because that Saturn is there, we exude this, like, sort of seriousness, right? And it can be hard to break free from that, right? And I, and I think it can be hard for us to just let loose. And, and that's the thing. Um, because Saturn is quite cold and rigid and it, it comes, it, it's going to pour out of us um, in, in, in the environments that we're in. And so, yeah, you know, like, I think we can, we can know that deep down we can have a lot of fun, but this is our, one of our lessons is, is maybe to learn to like really be free within that area. Um, because, you know, Saturn is all about constraints, I would say. Um, yeah. And, and, and so part of us is learning to be free, but deep in our, in our heart, I think in our heart and our soul, we do feel the freedom there, but, um, to express it is, is the, difficult thing you know like to actually express every movement that we want to express is difficult in front of people um yeah I think it's just difficult um for us to be totally free within that space and that's actually what we need to learn um yeah so that's kind of my perspective on that so I just wanted to add that in there so anyway we could actually plan really good events because I do think we know how to have fun it's just it's very difficult for us because we have so much so many goals and we have such a serious side as well a serious nature um yeah which also brings me to the point why can't we be our serious nature in that environment the fact that we have our serious nature we don't have to feel bad about it because actually these people that are more wild and crazy might appreciate a level-headed person in the room it's just that we have to not bring the room down and be like i'm not having fun we have to be we can be level-headed and engage in those conversations, but we can't bring the, the, the mood down with our energy. We can just be ourselves in the party. Why can't we be ourselves in the party? Why do we feel, I don't know, we feel some, some form of like insignificance maybe at some point there um, because we are traditional and a little bit more serious natured. That's what I think anyway. Um, 
another thing, right? The fifth house is all about the stage, you know? And we have a place on the stage, and I know we do. We actually do. From young, like, I've just felt like I wanted to be on the stage. But for some reason, it's difficult for us. You know what I mean? Because like I'm saying, there's somebody out there that has the sun in the fifth house. So all of that energy naturally comes to them. But for us, we have to work hard for it. We aren't going to get our place until 30, 40, 50, 60, next lifetime even, if we don't master this energy in this one. So, um, yeah, like it's, it's it, it can be quite difficult. Like, you know, I remember even as like five, like, wanting to be you know when you do those school musicals I wanted to be there I wanted to be the one but I couldn't sing like I was never going to get picked and I even remember going home and like trying to practice singing like some Annie song and I think that had I put in the practice at that point and recognized that I could have actually had a place on the stage and worked hard I could have that place now I really do I really think I could but there is a shyness to us we are a little bit shy we don't we can't belt our voice out because we're scared of the criticism, we're scared of the laughter, we're scared of not being accepted on the stage, I think, you know, um, but we can actually have that place, so um, it just takes a lot of hard work for us, whereas for others that, that generally end up in the, those places, it may fall very naturally for, because there is a draw to them, and there is a draw to us as well in, in some ways, but we can be standoffish to that draw, to that pull, um, because of our own insecurities and our own fears of how we're going to be judged in that place. Um, I found it very difficult even to watch things like X Factor because I felt like that was my spot, but I couldn't sing, you know, like it, it, it can be difficult because there is definitely a place for us within creativity, within, um, theater, within theatricals, within the stage, within that, that arena. Um, but it can be difficult for us to find that. Um, and it can take time and it can take hard work for us to find that. So, um, yeah, I find that pretty, um, damn interesting. And I wonder if anybody else feels that too. So I also want to add here that Saturn is actually like um, a great teacher and it is a planet that is greatly linked to um, maturity. And there are some planets that um, they can thrive within their immaturity and get better with age. Something like Mercury, there's a lot of energy to Mercury as an immature planet, as well as a mature planet. Um, but with Saturn, Saturn... Saturn like you can feel but I feel like Saturn doesn't really get seen until maturity so you can feel the effects of Saturn within immaturity but um, the rewards of Saturn don't necessarily arrive until maturity so um, also within creativity that may mean a lot of practice of creativity a lot of underground work with creativity but eventually you know, like in terms of having the place on the stage, that place on the stage may not even be a place on the stage as such. It may be something that is more coaching or it might be teaching or it might be judging or it might be um, finding talent or, you know, or your your whatever your work is, whatever your creative work may just be seen at a later age. It may be producing um, as opposed to actually um, having the eyes fall on you. It might be actually seeing where eyes can fall and creating that as opposed to um, being, you know, the centre of the stage in that way. Um, it might be even creating the stage for another person. Um, yeah, so that is another big thing. I think, I think that, you know, we could have that place within creativity and it's important for us to continue to tap into our creativity because we can be some of the best um, creators but with Saturn comes hard work with Saturn comes ego lessons with Saturn comes tests with Saturn comes difficulties with, with Saturn comes time you know we have to put time and effort into these things and so I do think it is essential for us to give time to these area this area of life um, to find what is fun for us um, to find our creative energy to find our place on the stage to find ourselves even and our, our own expression find the way that we want to express ourselves find our creative expression because it can be quite hard for us i think sorry my partner just walked in and i'm so awkward i can't film uh in front of people i'm i'm, I'm shy like that see i'm shy i should i should be practicing what i'm preaching and i should let her walk in and just keep going god what's wrong with me um yeah, anyway, um, there are some things in there about love affairs that um, 
I I don't necessarily feel I don't know if I feel Jupiter and Leo more with that or some other energies more with, with, with that because I don't feel like I've ever been restricted in love affairs and stuff like no like there's never been any restrictions for me actually more so the opposite um but then again obviously like I said the chart is quite big but you know you could be restricted when it comes to love affairs and romance and and flirting and maybe I'll experience that at this point in my life I feel like now I'm totally ready for something more serious whereas when I was younger I did I, you know um I was in serious relationships but I was actually always thinking more like oh can I do this forever you know whereas um, as things have changed a little bit now as I've actually got older so maybe I'm experiencing the like you know I probably couldn't do small talk and meanless like meaningless things really um but who knows I, I just don't know about that um and children gosh like uh this placement could delay children um which I but like at least for me in my life like it is going to delay children I'm you know gay so that's going to be hard I'd love to adopt and I'd love to have many children and I would like ta I take parenting seriously like if I'm going to be a parent I have to be in a place in life in which I can be a great guide and a great teacher and I would really um take take parenting very seriously it would become like you know my job I would have so much love for that but they do say it can be quite a scary process for those with Saturn in the fifth house like I said I have other placements as well I have Jupiter and Leo I grew up with lots of children I'm I'm not so scared of being a parent but I do understand how I might have the sort of idea of how I want parenting to go and if it doesn't fit that it might be quite a test on my ego like um you know so that that could be a thing um and yeah it could be delays there who knows how easy it's going to be for me to adopt um I might not have children till late re really quite late in life obviously my fingers crossed that when I'm ready the universe wants to bless me but I might have to find you know there might be a lot of teachings and lessons in there um for me too so anyway um I think that is basically it the main things like I think is the fun stuff you know the fun the self-expression the creativity um you know the art and and finding all that for us people with Saturn in the fifth house um oh and that's another thing you might be very creative very very creative but you might always have a serious there might always be some serious nature to your creativity um which is kind of cool it might always it might your creativity might teach something it might have a serious undertone um which obviously I love and even the things that you watch might be like that you know you might be into entertainment that is of a serious nature like million dollar baby do you know what I mean that is so so Saturn like you know um you might I, I like Spartacus things like that like I mean there's a lot of energy in, in those type of things but you might enjoy things that are very Saturn like um traditional things you know like my idea of actually having fun I would love to go to like a jazz bar where there's a live performance I don't necessarily want to be up and dancing and, and go I'd like to sit back and watch this band play and be drinking nice cocktails and you know be sat in nice seats and be there with the person that you love and, and dress quite nicely I'm not materialistic or anything like that but in terms of entertainment that's the type of environment I'd like to step into I'll be quite comfortable there just seated looking watching absorbing um yeah so uh that is that i think we need to find that um and guys do you know what if you've got this placement please drop some comments below because what i'm thinking with explaining my placements is that basically anyone who's here has obviously got a placement like this or they know someone with this placement so drop comments sharing your experiences so that everybody with Saturn in the fifth house can get quite a comprehensive idea about how this energy might play out what your lessons have been what your challenges have been what your struggles have been where you are now where you want to go what you want to learn from this and then we can all kind of read it as a collective um because how many times have you gone through the internet and read through the same pages, watched the same videos? Let's all as a communi community even jump on this, drop some comments and really actually put personal experiences into it. That's why I'm starting with mine because they're personal experiences. They're relevant to me. They're relevant to this energy. And this is my perspective on it. But the way I see it is that I could be with somebody in a relationship. My energy doesn't change. Their energy doesn't change. Our makeup is the same. But we can have 10 different babies and they're all different. So Saturn in the fifth house just alone could have 10 different babies. And they all have ever so slight different percentages of Saturn in this degree. And then in this, you know what I mean? Like 
it could spit it out in so many different ways. Um, we're all going to probably resonate with, with a lot of things, but could be such a big mixture. Plus, obviously, we all have our own individual charts, so a lot of other things come into play. So as many perspectives as possible is great. Because, you know, like I said, I don't necessarily feel the lack when it comes to romance and love affairs, like, at all. So, um, yeah, and that could be just because I just don't with that or because of other placements. But, yeah, guys, just drop some comments below if you have this placement about your challenges and, and what you're learning from having Saturn in the fifth house and why you're actually here on this video. Obviously One final thing. This is a little bit of gold. Saturn in the fifth house, if I was going to explain it as a character, it would be the Grinch, okay? Literally the Grinch who hates Christmas. Um, yeah, I'm going to put a link to show you Saturn in the fifth house energy in the description i'll title it as the grinch just watch it if you are sat in the fifth house you're going to be like yeah i know that i know that energy anyway um back to the outro so yeah guys with that being said um i hope you enjoyed the video i hope you find your fun i hope you find your creative self-expression i hope you um find your comfortable environment and you never feel bad for not having tra like traditional methods of fun. Um, keep working hard on your goals, we love that. That is fun for us. Yeah, we are the GOAT. We are like the Capricorn um, individual in some ways. So um, yeah, with that being said guys, have fun, have your own fun, and I will see you in the next video.